all right hey everyone welcome back to another video in salesforce makes sense this is use case number eight of the flow builder curriculum or rather the flow builder masterclass my name is iman shu and let's take a look at the problem statement so for those of you who feel confident building record triggered flows on your own pause the video here take a look at the use case try solving this yourself and if you're able to do it let me know in the comments and for those of you who want me to solve this alongside you i would encourage that you keep your screen ready and try to do this with me all right so let's take a look at the question or the problem statement so send a reminder notification email to the customer 30 days before 15 days before and three days before their contract expires so this is on the contract object this is another standard object that salesforce provides and this is part of the contract management module right so contracts are nothing but you know for court line items we send out contracts right to to seal a deal that's that's this object all about now what we want to do is since a contract has a expiry date right any subscription that you do has an expiry date right so similarly we'll create an expiry date field and what we'll do is 30 days before the expiry date 15 days before the expiry date and three days before the expiry date we will send out reminder notification to the customer okay and we'll only send it out if the contract has not been renewed okay it might be the case that they get a notification on the 30th day and before the 15 days come like right before 15 day or maybe the 17th day to expiry they renew their contract right in that case we'll not send the remaining two reminders because they have already renewed their contract right so in that case they should only receive the 30 days before email and they should not receive the 15 days before and the three days before email okay so what we'll try to do is we'll add a new status on the contract page and we'll try to add a renewed status so whenever the status is renewed we don't want to send the reminder notification okay so let me just go ahead and modify these two things let's go ahead and let's go to salesforce classic and let's go to contract so what i want to do is i want to go to contracts i want to go to fields and i want to create a new custom field right this would be my contract expiry date let's choose the date field i'll say next expires on all right that's the field i'll say next save right so my new field is created what i also want to do is i want to modify the status field i was i want to add a new row or a new new uh, value that is called renewed okay all right so the status category would be activated and i'll just say renewal done okay so this is my status all right all set up on the contract object let's go to setup and now let's say flows so i want to create my eighth flow right this is what use case number eight so let's create the new flow this should also be a record triggered flow because we don't need any screen for this uh, for any user inputs so this time what should be the triggering object it should be the contract object right and the contract object should be tr uh, triggered and it should be triggered at specific dates or specific times based on the contract expiry correct so let's try to configure that here so whenever a record is created or updated is what i want to do here because they might make changes to the contract they might create the contract so i'll choose both options right and what is the entry criteria i don't have any entry criteria this is pretty much for all contracts correct what i can put a null check kind of thing is i can simply say that the expires on field is not null right so this should not be null there should be an expiry date because we want to track 30 days 15 days and 3 days from the expiry okay and i just want to say save here and i'll say reminder notification before contract expiry and this is my record triggered flow number eight all right great let's say save this will not be activated yet because we don't have any node here what i want to do now here is i want to just close this box click here and you will notice that we have something that's called scheduled paths right this is what we want to use because we don't want to run anything immediately what we have 
planned is for 30 days before the expiry, 15 days before the expiry and 3 days before the expiry. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to say 30 days before expiry. I want to add another path 15 days before expiry and then 3 days before expiry right we give them three chances and if you notice as soon as I'm typing here these are my paths they are getting created as decision paths here right so this is something that will run immediately if you put anything here if you want to run anything 30 days before the expiry it will run here but how does the system know that it is 30 days before expiry or three days before we need to tell them the time source okay so whenever the contract was let's say when contract was created right so it should be 30 days not not created it should be expires on right so it should be 30 days before see you have this option here 30 days before the expiry date on the contract is 30 days before similarly 15 days would be the expires on field 15 days before all right and then three days before is three days before the expires on all right the advanced section lets you choose a batch size in case you know uh, a lot of data comes in here as part of the record triggered flow in that case it will take a default size of 200 but you can specify your batch size if you want 5 10 1 and all of that stuff so that's on the advanced level setting okay so what I've done is I've created three different paths right my paths are created I can still not activate the flow because I don't have any nodes created I mean no elements created add it right so what I want to do on 30 days before expiry I want to first of all check right I want to first of all check whether is the contract renewed this is what I want to check right I'll say no not renewed or I'll say yes renewed correct so yes renewed means I can simply check that the current record that has come into the context is the status equals renewal done if it is renewal done I don't need to bother about it correct I only need to send out an email if it comes to the default outcome which is nothing but not renewed yet send an email that should be my decision node right and do I need to do this for all scenarios yes of course so what I'll do is I'll simply copy this element and paste it for all the three scenarios now as soon as we use the paste command you see that it shows copy one off and this shows copy two off it is always a good practice to go back and change this remove the copy tag right so that it is readable right so yes renewed this can be called before 15 days right ensure that you make your flow readable by people or by yourself right so I'll just get rid of this particular co copy tag also I'll just say is the contract renewed prior to 15 days okay the API name can also be changed so this helps in you know debugging later so I'll just copy this for my set another node I'll just come here I'll just say remove this entirely add here and I'll simply say three days okay and I'll just say yes prior to three days remove this just click here again and just set it all right so if the renewal is done I don't need to do anything about it because if the renewal is done I don't need to remind them at all but if the renewal is not done 30 days before expiry 15 days before expiry or three days before expiry I need to send an email okay so my action will sit here it will sit here it will sit here that's the plan right so let me just go ahead and save it and now I can activate it because they are decision nodes but I have still not taken any action so for me to be able to take action I need to basically create three email templates right so I'll simply just go ahead and say create email template let's go back and I'll quickly create three email templates all right so I'll go to classic email templates
all right so what i've done is i've created three email templates but you already know i hope that we can associate email alerts here right not the email templates directly they are what are sent to the customer but we need to create alerts right so for that i'll just go into email alerts and i'll create three email alerts Right. So I've created the three alerts and I'm on the third one right now and I've chosen the object contract and I've associated the right email template. And if you notice here, what I'm doing is I'm just trying to choose who would be the recipient of the email. Right. So this should go to the related contact, which is something that's available because it's on the contract object and Salesforce is smart enough to understand. OK, the related contact is nothing but the customer signed by field. Right. So I'll just choose this field and it will automatically pick up the email address that's associated to this particular customer and send out the email. All right, so let's go ahead and save it. So what I've done is I've saved the three email templates and I've saved the three email alerts. What I want to do is just refresh this page so that I'm able to access the alerts. All right, so now I can choose on the first note. What I want to do here is I want to send out an email alert. So I'll just say 30 days alert, right? So the 30 days alert is here. I'll say 30 days prior notification right and what should be the record id the record id should be the record of the contract we have not really used it in our email templates this is used if you have any merge fields there okay so if you have any merge fields this will be required and this should be the correct one all right or else the email will fail then this one should be 15 days right so i can simply type it out here or if you want to simply go in and try to take a look at action you will find email available here and you can search it here right i think it should be alerts but let me try to say by category type email alert and now i should be able to find it right so i have the email alert here i'll say 15 day prior alert and then i'll say it should be the current record id all right and then the third one should be the three day prior so i'll just choose the three day prior alert and again three day prior notif and the record id again should be the right record id if you mess the record id here the email template delivery fails and so does the flow all right so we have set up the three actions let's click on the save button and let's quickly jump into a contact which is brian dent this right here and let's add our email address okay so i'll just go ahead and modify this particular email address and i'll say this should be salesforce makes sense at the rate gmail.com all right so let's save this record and now let's go back here and activate our flow all right now this will run 30 days 15 days and three days prior right in order for us to test it what i'll do is i'll simply change the third node so this is something that you can know about debugging it right so instead of the third node what i'll do is i'll just say one minute after right i'll say one minute after the contract is created is when they should send out the email so we'll just try to test it all right and we'll just revert it back once it is tested so i'll just say one minute after the contract is created send me the expiry notification so i'm just trying to test it out all right so let's say save let's say activate all right so now let's create a new contract under brian and let's see what happens so i'll just switch to lightning here And I'll go to contracts and let's try to create one. Okay, so I'll, so I'll say contracts here. I'll create a new one by cloning the existing one. Let's say clone, and the customer signed by person is Brian Dent, which is which has my email address. I'll just say that the expiration notice is this. The sign date is 18th. Sign date here is 17th. Expires on is 24th, and so on and so forth. Okay, let's click on the save button. So the contract is created and one minute right after one minute this is 8 16 p.m according to this time which is 8 16 p.m here at around 8 17 i should receive an email so let's quickly verify that all right so let's go to our email and let's see how things look like 
right so take a look at this particular email it is sent at 8 17 pm zero minutes ago and if you notice it says please renew the contract as soon as possible there are only three days left in the expiry right so we are successfully receiving the email scheduled somewhere in the future in the relevant time right so we'll just go ahead and fix the expiry as expires on and say three days before right now you might have a question that you know what would happen Himanshu if the expiry date is let's say today right so would these notes execute the 30 days before and 15 days because they've already gone in the past right yes in that case it they will execute each one will be executed and you will receive three emails in total okay so let's say you have marked or created a contract wherein you see the you set the contract expiry as 12 January it will execute all the three nodes and you will receive three email notifications if you do not believe me give it a try right so you'll receive all the three emails if in case your scheduled your schedule is beyond today I mean it's, it's it's already gone in the past in that case what Salesforce does is it evaluates and executes each scheduled transaction and executes it so you receive three emails here in this case all right let's take a look at what is the challenge for you so on the very next day of contract expiry if the contract is still not renewed create a follow-up task for the sales rep to call the individual okay so this means like let's say that the contract has expired the day on which the contract has expired after one day you have to check if the contract status is still not renewal done you create a follow-up task okay you don't send notifications after that you simply create a task for someone to follow up so how would you do it i'll not show you but i'll just give you a hint you'll create one more node here and what you would do is you would simply say when the expires on it's one day after so one day after the contract is expired you want to do certain things and you want to create a task record for your sales rep okay so try doing this particular challenge and i'm sure you should be able to okay if you are able to just drop a comment in the comment section saying i was able to complete the challenge all right so that was about use case number eight and i think we are we are, we are going good with the use cases let's look at the very next use case i'll see you in the next one bye